Hello oh, guys, Conley Eric here, and yes, it's been a while, but hey, what's going on? Long time no see, everyone. <clears throat> so today we're going to talk about two things, two two little things. Uh, one, I just found out today that they are making a Mega Man 11, uh, which is going to be a new series that Capcom, or a new game, not new series, a new game that Capcom is actually making for Mega Man. Holy crap! Didn't realize that. Huge Mega Man fan. Huge, huge Mega Man fan. And I didn't even realize it until today, until I saw it actually on um, <clears throat> on the pre-orders for GameStop. And they actually have a Switch trailer, so we're going to watch that, and then we're going to talk a little bit about E3 afterwards. So let's uh, let's watch this trailer real quick. I am so hyped. Bad memories make the worst dreams. Oh. A genius of my caliber needs sleep to keep his brain in gear. Oh, well, sounds like Dr. Wait. Wiley. That research on my youth. Yes, now I'll show you light. Can you believe last year was 30 years since my mom? That's insane. Oh. Oh, wow. So it's going to be all, like, 3D and all that. So it's not gonna go back to its eight bits, okay? Oh my god, you can come in the rush? Alright. Okay, okay. So much going on. So much going on. This is the prototype double gear system that Wiley developed Whoa, back at Robot University. Double if gear. If I install this into your circuits, you may be able to stop him. But it's dangerous. Double gear places great strain on robot systems. Oh, what? I can take it, Doctor. I want to do this no matter the cost. Hook me up. As you wish. So they've got voiceovers too, which is very weird. They, they got, for me at least. Use my <laughs> okay. Jesus, look at that. That is relentless, that guy. Look at him. He's... Oh, look at that. You can slow it down. You can slow it down the ground. He's this block man. <laughs> he looks like Woodman. Like the sprite for Woodman. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Wasn't expecting that, so he turns into a game block. Only two times. Oh, this is gonna be so cool, but I cannot wait. Oh my god. Available October 2018. Peter now to receive an exclusive alternative in game soundtrack DLC. Okay, cool, cool. So. Or if not, we're gonna stop that. What happened? There we go. That was pretty cool. Um, so Mega Man 11 looks really, really awesome, and I can't wait for it. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever played a Mega Man game, but Mega Man has been awesome since '87, uh, since it was an 8-bit game. <clears throat> um, if you haven't got into Mega Man and you really want to, um, the first actual six games are very challenging. They're very tough. Um, and they actually have the Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2 that has all of them, which if you get both, they come, if you get both of them, they do go all the way through 1 through 10. Oh, yep, yeah, 10. 10, because it's 11 right there. So yes, 1 through 10, and you can play the whole Mega Man storyline. Now, not to get confused with Mega Man X, Mega Man X is its different 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 line which is also they're making a collection for that as well which you can see right there and everything but we're going to talk a little bit about E3 now I'm actually seeing a lot of spoilers for E3 surprisingly which is amazing um they're like not spoilers but I would, I would say they're spoilers um we got uh Pokemon ahead of time which is let's go Pokemon or let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee uh, which is very interesting to see that it's basically going to be very much Pokemon Go-esque. Uh, which is... What the heck? Um, so we, we can get this one right off the screen right there. That would be nice. And, yeah. So. Let me just in 
Woo! Oh my God, my face got bigger. Look at that. So yeah, so let's go pick. Uh, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. Are very interesting uh, games because they're gonna be very much Pokemon Go esque. We've seen that there. I saw today that there is going to be uh, that Capcom actually took out a domain name for Devil May Cry Five. So they're talking about a reveal trailer for that at E3. Um, so I'm really hoping that. By the time E3 comes around uh, next week or so and everything, that we uh, actually have some interesting surprises. Hopefully, um, we are not going to be disappointed. Hopefully, um, hopefully that we do not sit there and, you know, like I said, do become disappointed. And hopefully, there's still something that the game companies between so uh, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo aren't showing us. The big three right there, um, you know. Uh, we got Fallout, uh, Fallout 76. I would love to know more about that. Uh, people are saying that it's supposed to be playing. There's a lot of online capabilities. So people are saying that uh, other rumors have said that uh, Fallout 76 is uh, going to play like DayZ and Rust, where you're going to have like the um, like well, like they said the online capabilities, where you're going to wander around, you're going to meet other people and all that. So technically, we might actually get Fallout online finally. Uh, there was actually rumors of using Fallout Online years and years ago, but never anything happened. So maybe that's that. Um, people are probably gonna we're probably gonna get a Black Ops Four more trailer for E3, which you know Black Ops Four can kiss my ass. It's just whatever. Uh, there's absolutely no campaign in Call of Duty, and Call of Duty is totally falling apart. So really not looking forward to that at all. Um, actually looking forward a lot to see more. Hopefully more Battlefield Five. Uh, uh, my friend Matt D from Grown Children actually posted an article today on his Facebook that I was reading that teamwork is going to be very vital in the multiplayer for Battlefield 5, so hopefully we see more of that. I would like to see more Anthem, because Anthem is supposed to be coming out this year. I really hope that, uh, <clears throat> I really hope that, um, e uh, EA didn't really screw the pooch and Mess this up with a lot of in micro in game tractions, in game transactions, tractions, and transactions like they did with uh, Battlefront 2, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and all that. I'm really hoping with Nintendo, I'm really loving the Nintendo Switch. I have been, uh, it's been, a, it's been a year since, uh, this past May. It's been out for a year, so it's really starting to garner traction with a lot of original, like a lot more original titles. We got Super Smash Brothers, uh, the Super Smash Brothers coming out. So hopefully we get to see more of that. Uh, hopefully with the Nintendo Switch we get to see more of Metroid Prime 4. Uh, hopefully we get to see something, maybe like a Star Fox. I'm really hoping, um, and fingers, fingers so crossed. I, I can't really cross my fingers. My fingers are small and weird. Uh, but I'm really hoping that we get a Star Fox Avenger 2. It's been so long since we had a, at least a decent, wonderful Star Fox game. Um, Star Fox Assault was the last good actual Star Fox game that I actually played. Uh, I did play the Wii U version, uh, and it wasn't that really good. Star Fox Zero, it wasn't. It was. It was basically Star Fox Assault 2, and it, it wasn't really that good either. I, I just. <sighs> Really, really, really hope that Nintendo knocks it out of the park and we see a lot of games. Um, hopefully, maybe we even get to see some Dead Island 2. I don't know if that game is officially dead or not either. But with E3 around the corner, we get to do, we do get to see some really interesting stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're probably going to see Days Gone uh, on the PS4. We'll probably see The Last of Us Part 2 uh, from the PS4 conference. Uh, Xbox hasn't really come out and really said anything or spoiled anything, but... We'll see. And like I said, with Nintendo, Nintendo is like a sealed vault, man. Nintendo's like a like Fort Knox when it comes to E3. Really, a lot, really not a lot of spoilers from there. But I did see that there was actually, uh, if I could pull it up right now, I wish I could. But there was actually a whole uh, that got leaked, and we don't know if it's actually true or not. Uh, but with the domain name of like Double May Cry Five and some of the other stuff and everything. Um, it actually was a leaked sheet of the whole entire, like, PS4, like, E3 reveal. Just, like, right down from, like, it starts with, like, Days Gone, works all the way down to, like, Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer. Which, I really want to see more of that Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, another thing that actually on that sheet that said, too, was Resident Evil 2 
uh, remake, and I would love to see that as well. Resident Evil 2 is a very interesting game that is near and dear to my heart. Uh, uh, I got to actually play it later and everything, because when I was a kid, I actually watched my mother play it, and it actually horrified the living crap out of me. So, yeah. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, nice to be back in front of a camera once again, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please, right there where that arrow says, hit that subscribe button. Hitting subscribe is completely free on YouTube. Imagine that. So, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you're excited about for E3 around the corner. And, as always, I will see you guys later this week with another video. Probably going to do another, probably going to do a Let's Play or a review video. I haven't really decided, but, again, this feels really good to be in front of this camera, so... I'll see you guys then. Make sure you like this video with a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and please comment down below. I, I love the interacting with you guys, so please comment down below what you expect out of E3 or what you're excited for for E3 or maybe some fan thing like theories that you want to come up. Like I'm like hoping for Star Fox. So I'll see you guys later this week. Have a good one. Kind of excited here. Peace.